PLCs are the backbone of industrial automation. They come in all shapes, sizes, and levels of complexity, but in a nutshell, they all do the same thing. They monitor a number of input signals, run logic assessing the received data, and output signals of their own accordingly. The simplest possible example is a PLC that has one input signal, a digital signal that could be on or off, and one output, which is also a digital signal. The input signal, say, comes through a simple toggle switch, and the output signal powers an indicator light. Many times per second, the PLC executes its logic as shown here. It evaluates the state of the signal input and executes one simple decision. If the input signal is present, the PLC will turn on its one output. In other words, if the switch is on, the PLC turns on the light. Of course, most PLC programs are much more complicated than this example. In addition to digital inputs and outputs, various types of analog signals come in and go out as well, carrying numerical values rather than simple on-off states. As the number of inputs and outputs increases, the PLC's evaluation logic becomes more complex, and it becomes increasingly important to test the code as it's being developed. What's the best way to determine that the logic is going to work as intended with real-world signal inputs? There are different ways to test PLC code. Every programmer knows different ways to fake inputs programmatically. However, this method has many limitations and may not provide an accurate real-time simulation of a real-life deployment. Another approach would be to wire sensors, switches, and signal generators as inputs into the PLC to approximate the deployed system. On a developer's bench top, this can quickly turn into a wiring headache, eating up time, space, and patience. Automation Direct offers a much better option for our Click and Click Plus PLC lines. Click Simulator Modules. With the C008 SIM, you can simulate up to eight digital inputs with a simple toggle switch interface. And with the C004 POT, you can precisely simulate up to four analog inputs with potentiometer dials. Let's take a look at a setup here. In the system configuration, we see our discrete input SIM module in the I.O. 1 position, and we can see its I.O. addressing right here. In the I.O. 2 position, we have our analog input simulator. Click Config to set up this module. For each channel, we see an input range of 0 to 4095, so we know that these are 12-bit inputs. We can scale each of these values to whatever we need for our application, be that a measured voltage, a tank level, an actuator position, or just a 0 to 100% reading. Once the scale range is set up, assign a floating point register to the channel one data register, and the click software fills in the rest sequentially, or unclick the continuous address box and assign each channel a separate register. Click OK, and click OK again. Write the project over to your PLC, and let's take a look at those addresses in a data window. You're in business, at least as far as the simulation values go. The logic for your application is up to you, and the Click's user-friendly programming environment. These modules are sold as simulation and development tools, but that's not to say that this is their only use. These modules are just as rugged as all the other Click PLC components and could absolutely be deployed in industrial applications as well, providing some local manual controls at the PLC, as security needs and accessibility circumstances allow. The Click simulation modules are one more reason the Click and Click Plus PLCs are a dream for developers, programmers, and controls professionals at every level. Visit AutomationDirect.com today to learn more about the Click line and thousands of other automation solutions we offer. Click here to learn more about Automation Direct and free PLC training. Click here to see more videos about the Click line of PLCs. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep informed on all new products and developments from Automation Direct.